Buying a vehicle in the Wabash Valley has never been so easy. Just point, click, and take your pick at DorsetAutomotive.com. New or pre-owned, you call the shots. Go ahead and give it a try. Point, click, and take your pick now at DorsetAutomotive.com. Fortunate for one because uh, our guys came down here, really played hard against three good teams. I think at least two of them will be in the NCAA tournament team in the NCAA tournament. Two to, uh, Tulsa and, and Hofstra are veteran teams with tough guys, fifth-year seniors, and plenty of seniors. But tonight, we you know we gave away a 10-point lead last night. We found a way. Uh, we were 17 up and gave it away and got down seven. I did a terrible job in the second half of putting us together offensively, and I think we struggled uh, against a uh, 1-3-1 zone, which we haven't had a chance to go against. But uh, they, they bailed me out. They, we made some plays. We kicked the ball loose on the defensive end a few times, made enough plays. And then Devontae, you know, he, he was he was bad, and he, he's, he's the, his worst critic. He was bad on uh, uh, last night, and then tonight he comes off the bench uh, in the first half and then makes a game-winning play uh, at the end. Devontae, and I'll, you know, I'll get to the game stuff in a moment, but, uh, you know, he, he did the things that he – the play to his strengths uh, in this game. He didn't shoot any threes, I don't think, and uh, uh, played defense on, on a tough player uh, in green. And, 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 you know, that's important for Devontae. You know, it was important tonight, and obviously it was really important on the last shot. But, you know, just talk about him playing to his strengths and, uh, you know, like, you know, making that the primary part of his game instead of trying to maybe, you know, play to some things that aren't primary things to him. Uh, for one, uh, I'll ride with him any day. Uh, Devontae, uh, if he plays poorly, it's not certainly not because he's trying. He knows what he does when he does things uh, wrong. He works to correct them. He's put in an unbelievable off season. Um, I got down on him a little bit, and he and I, he and I talk and try to work together on stuff. And um, he probably has been shooting a little bit too much, but he shot it so well in the preseason. He's worked really hard on it. He's going to make threes. There's no doubt in my mind. He's just got to take the right ones. And then on his penetration, you know, people know he's going to drive, so they're going to come help. He's going to just have to give the ball up more or drive after the ball's reversed a couple times instead of having all ten eyes on him when he goes. But he's always guarding the best player on the other team. He's got to do that every second he's on there. We ask so much of him, and it's tough, and it's competitive, and I wouldn't trade him for anybody. Uh, you talked about the zone that Hofstra threw at you in the one three one. It almost looked like a two one or one two two at times. They were sending guys out to the perimeter. They just talk about how you know Brenton hit a couple shots over and that kept you going for a while. But you know it was a, it was a strange zone because it was an active zone. It was jumping out at in the passing lanes and, and all that. You know it was, it was difficult yeah. to break. We we had about five minutes uh, in the hotel meeting room with tape on the carpet floor and a little cramped space about this big to work on a, a one through one offense today. And again, I didn't do a very good job and I'll do better. Uh, we just, we, we really got passive against it. We hadn't seen it yet. Uh, we over dribble, we throw soft passes. Uh, we, there's a lot of improvement we can do against that and against anything else. But, uh, you know, the, the thing is we, we were up 17 tonight. We were up 10 last night against two really good teams. So we're doing a lot of the right things. We just got to shorten those periods of poor play and lengthen the periods of long play, and we're going to improve a lot. You know, these guys are going to keep working. We're going to improve a lot. So I'm really encouraged. Uh, uh, the coaches will be better and the players will be better when we get back home. Defensively, when you guys were good, you were great. I mean